What is life like as an American living here in Finland? Well, I'm an American living here in Finland, and I'm going to tell you. More, 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 or hey, 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 and welcome back to the Daddy Diesel channel. I'm Daddy Diesel, an American living in Finland, and today we're going to talk about what life is like living in Finland. It's a little bit hot today, so just so y'all know, I'm putting on my air conditioner, so if y'all hear that a little bit in the background, that's what it is. So what is it like living in Finland? One thing that I think I should do first is maybe do a little negative, positive, negative, positive, so that it blends nicely and flows well. The first thing I'll have to say about living in Finland is it can be overwhelming. And if, like me, you're living in a different country that you weren't born in and you're learning the new life and culture, so on and so forth, definitely in the beginning, it's a huge, overwhelming feeling. Overwhelming can be positive and it can also be negative. And just that's the concept of just getting into something that you're not used to. Once again, like lifestyle, language, people, ways of being, you're now in a position where you are now immersed in a new location that, that is maybe dramatically different from what you're used to. And even if you move somewhere that doesn't speak a different language from you, maybe they do still speak English or Spanish or whatever, you're going to be hit into a brick wall by the concept of saying like, wow, people do things differently even when they have similar languages and dialects. But overwhelming could also take a toll when it comes to people's personal lives. Maybe it's their new friendships they're trying to make, family that they're missing and or new families that they have, work life that they're trying to figure out. For a lot of foreigners, that seems to be one of the biggest issues is finding work. Some people are just trying to find work because they want to go to a country or some people are trying to find work because they moved into a country and some people are literally still sitting here today looking for work and applying for jobs i've heard from a lot of people that it's extremely hard at times to get work here in finland especially once you're under a certain visa or time span to get it done you might not hear replies for a very 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 long time the other thing that can be quite overwhelming is the weather. But living in a country based in the North Pole that's primarily dark and winter it can be overwhelming for people that aren't raised in that as it's sometimes overwhelming for native Finns that live here. Next up is always, I know I've said it a thousand times, but you can have confusion with the language. Being that the language is, once again, not really in connection to any other Scandinavian language and has its own sense of way of being you're in a position where you really have to learn from scratch when you're a child you're given a different type of immersion not by just your family and people around you but tv school you're getting all of this immersion in speaking a new language and or the language you're going to learn well unfortunately when you become an adult it's like this you know magnetism that's the negative to the negative that's pushing each other away because you have something that you're used to and you're comfortable with and now you have something that's completely new trying to enter into that brain and replace everything reprogram everything that you know but the reason it can also be quite confusing especially if you are a native english speaker is most finnish people are very interested and happy to speak in english as in the sense they're also trying to practice their english speaking so you might be in a position where you're like well goddamn, i really want to speak english now i don't care if you're a foreigner like me or a Finn. One of the most difficult things you can also run into living in the country of Finland is just straight up boring. It can be drastically boring at times. As I mentioned earlier, knowing that there's like an extreme level of dark time and winter, everything really does freeze. Now, for me, I will say this, there's a little bit more enjoyment behind it as, once again, running a business and also doing social media. As you can see right now, I'm in a complete space that's artificial lights and no light from the access of outside coming in. So in a sense, I've kind of beat some of the elements of what's going on outside by being able to bring myself into the creative space and comfort space that I feel comfortable in. A lot of comfort there. So coming here to Finland and being in a situation where you are put in a position where weather actually affects how people function in that country, even when it comes to events and seasonal gatherings, it can make things quite boring. One of the things I've noticed about being a foreigner here in Finland is the sense of gratitude. I don't know if it's the sense of what nature can do to one. I don't know if it's the sense of maybe the, the experience that Finns kind of give you when you're here, but I've realized that I've grown to have a great sense of gratitude in regards to the simple things. Once again, with a lot of societies hold dear tend to have an impact on its citizens. And like I've said in many videos, the fact that they really do value things like family and personal life and work being maybe almost last. I'm now living in a country when I'm learning to just gratify and find things beautiful that are right in front of me that are tangible and don't cost a lot of money. Just looking outside and being able to embrace the 
nature that's around you as spring is here, summer is coming, it's warm outside. You sit and you just look and you feel like you're just sitting in front of majesty. Lastly, being a foreigner in Finland can feel at times isolating and reflective. Isolating in the sense that, like I said before, you're not in a place that perhaps might have a lot more dark in winter time. But then also dealing with the fact that the stereotype and sometimes true facts about Finns being more self-guarded, less, you know, forcing themselves into conversations and being more distant, it causes a sense of maybe isolation for foreigners that might be moving from a country that has a lot more connectivity and community and conversation. But then there's also that reflective aspect. The reflective aspect in isolation is beautiful. As they say, an idle mind is the devil's playground. But I feel at the same time, it can be such a place of growth and development. I believe as a foreigner in general, but also in this experience of living here in Finland, having a moment to be with oneself more often than not allows you to have a sense of reflection. Now, you can allow that to build on yourself in a negative sense where you see all of your faults and you see everything in your life that's not going right. Or you can utilize this time to reflect on the things that maybe you are doing that you could do better. Reflecting on different things that you realize that are weaknesses that you can make into strengths. But having a business here, having a family here, having a life here, has constantly made me reflect on the different values and the different ways that I carry myself. And every day I'm constantly learning on what new things I can do to reinvent, to become better in all of those avenues. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as we took time to reflect on what it's like living as a foreigner here in Finland. Go ahead and check out some of these videos that you might also enjoy and check out my new videos coming up next week.